So here's the juggle. I was recently informed that someone was throwing things out our window. Yeah. I'm telling you, we live on the 18th floor. I'm talking remote controls, a shoe, cosmetics. Were we not criminally liable for this behavior? It might be amusing. Yeah. Now, we'd moved into this apartment after my two older boys had grown out of the danger Will Robinson phase. So it was time to call the baby proofer again. I'm gonna try to cover up the hole left by the original. It's too loose. The problem with these door stops is that the rubber tips can come off and it looks like I had a hard time doing that, but most kids mistake these for bottles or nipples and um, they snap them off, they start sucking on this and it gets lodged in the throat. So we just replace it with the one piece door stop. And it'll protect the walls and your children. A lot of times, Parents don't understand it looks like a solid piece of furniture, a very heavy piece of furniture. It doesn't look like it will tip. Right. One of the problems is that children love to climb on it. They're going to create their own ladders. Right. And they're going to do that by pulling out the drawers. Once all of these drawers are now towards the front, right. just as a file cabinet will tip. Wow. If you can see how easy this will come over. It doesn't this take much. This is killing kids. This is killing, killing kids. Children. Right. Together, back here, we're just going to cinch that back. As we pull it closer to the wall. Tell me about crib safety. What I would like to warn parents about is um, you, the, the amount of toys in here. You, you do have quite a few toys in here. Right. Uh, the crib, strollers, high chairs, play pens are all safe places to leave a child, but they're, they should be safe. They should be very free of any kind of toys that they can possibly choke on, strangle on. And uh, JPMA recommends all crib toys out by six months. She's totally checking you out. She's like, wait, what are you trying to do to me? Right. All right, the other thing I'll point out, which a lot of parents, including me, didn't realize, is that Mason will stand up and do this. So, can we do something about that? We're going to secure that picture to the wall, but oh, right. uh, I'm also going to suggest that the crib comes out a little bit further because you don't know what's on here, you don't know what this is painted in. We want to make sure any lead-based paints are nowhere near the child. Okay. All right, Miss Ripley. Feet to, just oh, in case. Fine. <laughs> this is Mason's crib. I mean, this is Mason's stool. I don't know if you can tell. I had a client whose child fell on that one time and had plastic surgery before they were 18 months. Oh my gosh. He's freaking, freaking me out. out. <laughs> Tom Trainer is a baby proofer extraordinaire. He's a little bit like a superhero to me.